Welcome everyone. Today on Pressure Crisp, we're going to be making some roasted garlic mashed potatoes. And yes, these are not going to be low calorie. My name's Lisa and come on over and let's get these roasted garlic mashed potatoes started in the Ninja Foodie. So I'm going to go over the list of ingredients that's needed to make these delicious high calorie garlic mashed potatoes in your Ninja Foodie. Uh, specify you can use either the 6.5 or the 8 quart Ninja Foodie. I have two pounds of peeled russet potatoes. I prefer to use russets or Yukon Golds for my mash, but you can use any type of potato that you want. You're also going to need one stick of butter, half a cup of heavy cream. You're going to need a head of garlic. I'm going to show you how we're going to roast this. I'm also going to use my steamer basket to cook the potatoes and you're also going to need a cup or a cup and a half of water to cook the potatoes and of course as usual salt and pepper. Go ahead and show you how I roast garlic. I usually don't do one head I usually do at least four or five but in this today we're just going to use the one head of roasted garlic. You chop the top off and you're just going to take the extra uh, paper I guess you want to call it the garlic coating paper outside. Just take the excess off. You don't want it all off, but just take the stuff that just comes readily off. What I like to do next is you're going to take a piece of aluminum foil. Just put that head of garlic right in there. And what I like to do, you're just going to take a little bit of olive oil. Just put a little bit on. That's a little bit too much. You want to use a little less than that. But if you did it this way like I did, it doesn't really matter. Just a turn of the pepper mill and a tiny pinch of kosher salt. You're going to fold this guy up. And I like using aluminum foil because it's easy cleanup. I just use the enclosed trivet. If you have a silicone one, you can go ahead and use that too. You're just going to take that garlic pouch, place it right in your Ninja Foodi. You're going to lower the lid. You're going to make sure your Ninja Foodi is on. I'm going to choose bake roast and I'm going to keep it on 375 and you're going to hit start. It automatically defaults to 15 minutes. This takes usually an hour to roast this garlic to where I like it. There you go, one hour. The garlic is done, it's been cooking for one hour. Be careful taking this out. We should probably get a set of tongs. We're gonna take this out and just put it to the side for now. We want that to cool just a bit and we're also going to remove the trivet. So what I'm gonna do now is, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and add the one cup of water now. I'm going to take my OXO steamer basket. I'm just going to put it in there. Next, what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're just going to chop these potatoes. It sticks to the sides. We're just going to chop them into quarters. That's all we're going to do. Just like that. And while we have the potatoes, while we're chopping the potatoes, we're just going to go ahead and add them to the green steamer basket. So all the potatoes are added to the pot. Let's see if I can crisscross this. It might be a little snug, but that's fine. Perfect. You're going to go ahead and put your pressure lid on. Make sure your vent is set to seal in the back right there. You're going to turn your Ninja Foodi on. We're going to hit pressure, defaults to high. The time, we're going to bring this down to eight minutes and we're going to hit start. Okay, so the eight minutes have passed and now we're going to do a quick release. The red tab is dropped in the back. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take the lid off, open it away from you and watch out for the dripping water. We're just going to take the lid and set it off to the side. Now this is super hot, everybody. I'm going to take that and break that apart. You can take a fork or something right now and just check to make sure they are done. And yes, they are. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take the potatoes out of the Ninja Foodi and we're going to put it into a food mill. You can use a hand mixer. I'm opting to use a food mill to mash my potatoes. It's going to lift it out. Once again, watch out for dripping water. And let's see if I can do this. Just going to pour these potatoes right into the food mill. Just like so. Oops. And of course, I always get something on the floor. And that dumps over. We're going to put the potatoes in a bowl 
Then we'll put them in the fluid mill. So we got another bowl. We're going to take those potatoes. And you're going to put them right into the food mill. Just like that. Now this, remember, this is two pounds of potatoes. You can double this recipe, which is four pounds, then you're going to have to do this like in increments. And all you're going to do is just go around with the food mill, just like so. Like I said, you can use a hand mixer or mash them any way that you usually mash potatoes. But the food mill is the way to go for mashed potatoes. It truly is. It's an inexpensive piece of equipment. You can use it for applesauce. You can put tomatoes through here. Take the food mill, take, take your spatula and just Kind of scrape off the bottom. Perfect. Look at that. Gorgeous. So now what we're going to add is we're going to add all the butter. Just going to put it all in there. You're going to add the half a cup of heavy cream. You can use half and half milk, whatever you have on hand. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. That teaspoon of kosher salt. And last but not least, this gorgeous roasted garlic. And all you're gonna do, this is cooled down enough, you're just gonna squeeze that garlic right in there. Just like that. And all we're gonna do is stir to mix. We want that butter melted, we want that cream incorporated, we want that roasted garlic in there, we want everything incorporated extremely well. These are gorgeous, gorgeous potatoes. Now this recipe isn't exact, like these are like, I can tell by looking at them, this is like a thicker mashed potato. If you want them thinner, you can go ahead and add more milk, half and half, or heavy cream. If you want them firm, like this, these are a bit firm. This is really, really nice looking mashed potato. I'm just going to take that garlic again because I just want to make sure I got all this garlic goodness out of here and into these potatoes. And that's how easy this is. Look at that. Ugh. I think I am actually going to add a bit more heavy cream. Now, unfortunately, I have to add cold, which I really don't want to do because I like everything room temperature. And most times what I do, I actually warm the half and half heavy cream or milk up and melt the butter right into the, the milk. This is a bit thick for my liking. Going to add just like a tablespoon at a time because I don't want them too thin. Oh yeah, these are going to be gorgeous, gorgeous potatoes. So we're looking at anywhere from a half to one cup of heavy cream, milk, or half and half. But the consistency of these potatoes are perfectly, perfectly smooth. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, we're going to get to that taste test. Time for that taste test. This is just a good, basic mashed potato. Yes, it's a bit high in calories. But I just wanted to show people how they can use, this is basically a Ninja Floaty 101 video on how to make mashed potatoes. Like I said, this is just a basic, basic recipe. You can add whatever you want to your sour cream. I usually add sour cream, but I just wanted to show you a good basic recipe. Let's take a bite of these potatoes. Super good. Really good. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notifications button. Once again, thank you everybody. I appreciate all my viewers. Thank you and take care.